Hey! Welcome to part 2 of the beginner's tutorials for getting started with Microsoft Word. Before the end of this tutorial, you get to know 1. How to create bulleted and numbered lists. 2. How to add, resize, crop, and adjust images and graphics. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video. Number 1. How to create bulleted and numbered lists. 1. Place the cursor where you want to create the list. 2. To create a bulleted list, click on the Bullets button on the Home tab. To create a numbered list, click on the Numbering button on the Home tab. Three, type your list items and press enter after each item to move to the next line and create a new bullet or number. Four, to end the list, press enter twice to create a blank line. Two, how to add, resize, crop, and adjust images and graphics. To add images. 1. Click on the place where you want to insert the image. 2. Go to the Insert tab and click on Pictures. 3. Select the image file you want to insert and click Insert. To resize images. 1. Click on the image you want to resize. A border with white circles will appear around the image. 2. Click and drag one of the white circles to resize the image. To crop images. 1. Click on the image you want to crop. 2. Go to the Picture Format tab and click on Crop. 3. Click and drag the black lines on the sides and corners of the image to crop it. Four. Press Enter when you are done. To adjust image properties. One. Click on the image you want to adjust. 2. Go to the Picture Format tab and click on Picture Corrections. 3. Adjust the brightness, contrast, sharpness, and other properties of the image as needed. To wrap text around images. 1. Click on the image you want to wrap text around. 2. Go to the Picture Format tab and click on Wrap Text. 3. Select the wrapping style you want, such as square, tight, or through. These are some basic steps to add, resize, crop, and adjust images and graphics in Microsoft Word. There are many more options and features available for working with images and graphics in Word, but these should get you started. Congratulations! You have reached the conclusion of Part 2 in the Beginner's Tutorials for Microsoft Word. You're welcome to move on to the next tutorial, Part 3 of Beginner's Tutorial for Getting Started with Microsoft Word.